I am Jamie with 3littlegoats.com. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you've been around for a while, welcome back. I'm glad to see you as always. Now, if you watched my last video about our homestead tour, we finally moved to our final forever home here in Arkansas, and we've been trying to get everything situated and just figure out everything around the property, where we're going to put the animals and all of that fun stuff. But one of our first priorities was kind of building me some place where I could work. Our current house is 1,400 square feet, which is great. It's a decent size, got great bedrooms, but there's nowhere for me to really work. I don't have an extra bedroom. I don't even have a formal area that I can kind of convert into a space of my own. So we decided why not build one? So we took a shed, specifically a bald eagle barn shed, and we converted it into my beautiful office where we are standing now. So this video I'm going to show you kind of what it looked like when we got it and just the process of building everything out and then next week or the week after I haven't decided when we'll do the final reveal of it all put together and decorated. So without further ado let's initiate some voiceover mode and show you what we did. All right, so this is the outside of the shed. We had already gotten the electrical run because we wanted to have a licensed electrician do all that, but we placed it in the corner of the yard where it's nice and shaded, so even in the Arkansas heat, it still stays pretty cool throughout the day. Now, here is a quick pan of the inside. As you can see, we've already started to get our insulation and everything ready to go, but it is bare bones, just the electrical at this point. And this particular shed is from bald eagle barns it's a 10 by 20 and it has two four foot lofts on each end now i didn't really record the actual insulation process because we did spray foam on the ceiling because there was a lot of fumes it was very messy i figured i would just do some shots afterwards like i said we did spray foam on the ceiling and then just regular fiberglass insulation on the walls after all the insulation was up, it was time for the fun part, all of the shiplap. And even though it looks like a lot of shiplap, I ended up having to go back to get more. Now the particular shiplap that we used is actually tongue and groove, and it was super easy to put up. And that was kind of one of the reasons why we chose it was because of the ease. We didn't have to worry about really cutting around the windows, like drywall or anything like that. We could just cut as we went per board and it really didn't take long it took us less than a day to do the entire bottom section with shiplap and then it was just a matter of going row by row by row installing the shiplap we ended up just using one inch brad nails to attach it to each of the studs and it's not going anywhere and if we ever need to move the shed anywhere else on the property it'll be easy and we won't have to worry about drywall or anything cracking So after all of the shiplap is up, this is what it looks like before it was painted. Just a quick pan to show you everything before we painted. I didn't film the painting process because, well, it's painting and it's not very enjoyable to watch paint dry, let alone somebody paint. So through the power of editing, here is what it looks like after we finish painting it and trimming out all of the windows. Now we moved on to what is one of my favorite parts of the shed, but probably the most time consuming and most difficult. It was 98 degrees with like 95% humidity this day and we didn't have AC on in here yet. And up in those lofts, oh my gosh, it was so hot. But for the ceiling, we decided to use some old barn tin. I actually bought this when we first moved to the property with the intentions of turning them into raised garden beds, but I thought they would look a lot cooler on my ceiling. Plus it helped keep the cost down because I got, I think 22 of these for less than $50 and I only used 14 on this project. So I still have some left if I wanted to use some for some raised garden beds in the future. Thank you. 
And then finally, last but not least, we put the flooring in. Now we use just laminate flooring. I picked this up at Lowe's for, it was 99 cents a square foot, and then we got 10% off for military discount. So it was super cheap and it's pretty durable and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. We also went ahead and wired up my lighting. I bought this back in Washington when we were still living there because they are LED panels and they are daylight temperature, which is perfect for filming. And I got them at Costco for really cheap. And then once the flooring was done, we were done. It was just a matter of doing some touch-ups and putting the threshold in the door and we called it a day. The back end of the loft isn't complete because I am hanging curtains and it's just for storage anyway, so I wasn't really concerned about it. But this is the finished shed. that is what I have got for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? We've got some soap videos coming up. We've got some room reveal videos coming up. I've got some woodworking videos coming up. All kinds of fun stuff just coming down the pipeline now that I finally have some place to work, which is awesome. So if you guys have any questions about the build or anything in general, just let me know down in the comments below. I try to answer comments is quickly as I can. Sometimes life gets in the way and I may miss it. I haven't been getting my notifications, but I will check back periodically. So if you have any questions about the build, let me know and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. And I guess that is it for this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!